Hello budding geographers. Welcome back to our third video in the Water in the World series. In our previous videos, we explored the classification of resources and the different forms of water as a resource. Today we're going to dive into how the movement of water through the environment connects places. So let's get started. Imagine a snow-capped mountain during winter. As spring arrives, the snow begins to melt. This melted snow, now in the form of water, starts its journey downhill, feeding into rivers and dams downstream. This movement of water doesn't just happen in isolation. It connects places, near and far. The water from our mountain might end up in a dam that provides water to a city hundreds of miles away. And this is just one part of the story. The water cycle, a continuous process of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, connects the entire planet. As you can see, every drop of water has a story, a journey. It connects mountains to rivers, rivers to seas, and seas to clouds. And in this journey, it connects us all. In our next video, we'll explore more about how we, as humans, interact with this incredible resource. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more geographical explorations. See you in the next video.